this is Joey Fatone. It's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Steve. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming. How y'all doing? Hey, welcome to the Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you today. It is the Brown family playing against the Carapedian family. All of this for a chance at willing a whole lot of cash and a shot at a brand new car right there. Let's go. Give me Dorothy, give me Joe. Let's play. Okay, here we go. We got the top six answers on the board. Name a reason you might let out a scream when you're in bed. Sex. Sex! <laughs> Dorothy? Nightmare. A nightmare. <laughs> wow. Pass or play? Play. Play. The babes in red are playing. <laughs> you're nervous, but you can play, though. <laughs> Because I just knew that was the number one answer right there. You got it. Hey, Dana, how you doing? Good. Good. Okay, well, name a reason that you might let out a scream when you're in bed. A bug bite? A what? Bug bite. A bug bite. <laughs> a bug bite! <laughs> hey, Faye, how you doing? Hello, Steve. What do you do for a living? Well, Steve, I'm a 12 and a half year breast cancer, terminal breast cancer survivor, and I spend my days living and fighting for the cause. I, I hear you, Faith. Exactly. Good job, right there. Right. Living and fight for the cause. All right. Okay, well, name a reason that you might let out a scream when you're in bed. Well, hot flashes, what I can think of. Hot? <laughs> A hot flash. <laughs> Brenda, how you doing? I'm wonderful. I see you, girl. I celebrated my 50th birthday yesterday. Go on with your fire yeah. self. Go on with your fire self. You ain't gonna believe this. Look at me. 54. <laughs> you want me, don't you? <laughs> I saw the look. I saw. Tell I said the 50 truth and say the devil. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, name a reason you might let out a scream when you're in bed. Someone is standing over me. Yeah. Someone is standing yeah. over me. Wow. Yeah. Wanda, how you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. What do you do for a living, do you? I'm a fitness director Are and you? a pro bodybuilder. A pro bodybuilder? <laughs> I'll be keeping my jacket buttoned the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Best around I'll show this two-pack. That's all right. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations on being physically fit. Thank you. Well, name much. a reason you might let out a scream when you're in bed. When I hear a loud noise. Wow. Woo! That's a good answer. I like that. When she hears a loud noise. <laughs> that's a good answer, though. Dorothy, you got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Carapedian family, they can steal if you don't get it. My alarm goes off. <laughs> so every morning, you just holler. <laughs> <laughs> the alarm. <laughs> Your chance. Name a reason you might let out a scream when you're in bed. You know, I'm gonna say watching a scary movie in bed. Watching a scary movie in bed. <laughs> scary movie in bed. Uh, let's see number five. <laughs> number six. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, let's move on to question two. Give me Dana, give me Sylvia. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, we've got the top eight answers on the board. Here we go. We ask 100 married women. 
Name something you wear that you'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. <laughs> Sylvia. G-string. G-string. <laughs> Dana. Makeup. Makeup. <laughs> you control it. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. What's, what's happening with you, man? How you doing? Good, bro. How about yourself? All right, Nick, let's go. Name something you wear that you'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. A bra. Yeah. Yeah, that is... yeah that's a shocker. A bra! Yeah! So, honey, we talked to 100 married women. Name something you'd wear that you'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. My stilettos. Your stilettos! Hey. Oh, boy, I get this name wrong. Talini. Talini. Okay, Talini, let's go. We ask 100 married women this. Name something you'd wear that you'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. Pantyhose. Pantyhose. <laughs> your man got on your pantyhose. <laughs> Joe, we ask 100 married women, name something you'd wear that you'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. I'm gonna say her jewelry. Trying on her jewelry. <laughs> Only one strike. All right, Sylvia, let's go. We ask 100 married women this. Name something you'd wear that you'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. Well, I don't wear one, but a wig. <laughs> yeah. A wig. <laughs> Only one strike, Nick. What yeah. do you think it is? Well, I wear this all the time, but it's a mini skirt. It's a joke, Steve. Mini skirt. Okay. She was mortified. She went. <laughs> you think that's funny on national TV? It's all right. Yes. Yeah, well, your it's wife all good. went. The children are watching. <laughs> Nick in the mini skirt. <laughs> Ani, only one strike. We I talked sure to 100 heard. married women. Name something that you wear. You'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. <sighs> a girdle. <laughs> wow. The girdle. Aww. That's two strikes. Two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Brown family can steal. I got this one. Garter yeah. belts. Garter belts. Yes. Yeah. The garter belt. Aww. Let's go. Yeah, okay, Dorothy. This is your chance to steal. Uh, we ask 100 married women, name something you wear. You'd be shocked to catch your husband trying on. I'm gonna say nail polish. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Nail polish. <laughs> Number seven. Wow. Number eight. <laughs> we got a good one. We'll be right back with more Family Feud right after this. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one going for you. The Carapedian family, 95. The Brown family, 79. Give me Faye, give me Nick. Let's go. Point values are double on this one, everybody. Top four answers are on the board. Name something you'd find at a funeral party. Faith. A dead person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much a key ingredient. You want to have a business, we're going to need some dead people in here. We need a body. <laughs> Nick. Coffin. Coffin. We're going to play. They're going to play, Faith. I gotta tell you, though, I love the dead person answer. I thought that was number one. That was good. Anna, what do you think it is? Name something you'd find at a funeral parlor. Only two answers left. Makeup. It's okay, that's all right. <laughs> Makeup. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, it's only one strike, so it's no pressure. Yes. What do you think it is? Flower. Flowers. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Flowers. 
Joe, only one strike, only one answer left. Name something you find at a funeral parlor. I got this one, Steve. Mm-hmm. What is it? A priest. Priest. A priest. Good So I guess it's just Catholic people that are dying now. <laughs> okay. Priest. <laughs> Two strikes. If it's there, you clear the board. If it's not there, the Brown family get ready to steal. The staff. <laughs> The staff. Okay. Oh. Brown, here's your chance. Dorothy, name something you'd find at a funeral parlor. The brown babes are going with soft music. I've been to a bunch of funerals, never noticed the music. Maybe I was too caught up in the tra- trauma of the moment. So, but I was not going over there looking at the body going, that is my jam. Right there. <laughs> So jams and music. (laughs) Number four. Wow, I'd have never got that. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Carapedian family has 273. The Brown family, 79. Give me Brenda, give me Ani. Point values are tripled here. This is a big one, okay? Top four answers are on the board. Name someone you talk over your sex life with. Brenda. My girlfriends! Your girlfriends! <laughs> Pass or play? Steve, we're gonna play! They're gonna play on it. Okay, here we go, Brenda. <laughs> Wanda, little mighty mouse. Woo. <laughs> Name someone you talk over your sex life with. I'm gonna say my mother. Talking over sex with her mother. <laughs> Dorothy, name someone you talk over your sex life with. I'm going to go with a counselor. A counselor. <laughs> you got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, the other team can steal and win. I'm going to go with significant other. Your significant <laughs> other. Yeah. All right. I ain't mad at Might as well talk about who you're doing it with. Might as well, hey, look, hey, hey, we need to talk. You got to stop all this now. <laughs> Name someone you talk over your sex life with. Hey, I have all of these siblings. Why not my siblings? Right. Good that makes sense to me. Your siblings. <laughs> I'm looking at the score. Two strikes. If it's there, Brenda, you guys win the game. Sometimes, Steve, I have to go to the minister. Take it to the minister! Take it to the minister! Take it to the minister! For the win, the pastor. <laughs> hey, Joe, real simple. If it's there, you steal, you win the game. Name someone co-worker. you talk over your sex life with. Uh, we're gonna go with coworker. Yeah! yeah. We are looking coworker for the win. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> wow. Great family. Great friends. We love y'all, man. Hey, Browns! I need two of y'all to play fast money. Let's go. Who's it gonna be? I got Dana and I got Faye. We're going for fast money. $20,000 right after this. The Brown babes going for the money. 
Hey, welcome back to The Feud, everybody. The Brown family won the game, and it's time to play... <laughs> hey, Faye, before we get started, here's your mom, Dorothy, with the family. They want to wish you luck. Hi, Hi. we, we are, are the, the Brown, Brown family. family. Faye and Dana win that fast money. All right, you ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name a part of a woman's body that men prefer to be small. Breasts. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you enjoy, enjoy dirty jokes? Nine. Name something a woman might need help putting on. Girdle. Name something you like to do late at night. Read a book. Name something that gets pulled down. Curtis. Give you curtains. Okay, cool. Come on, let's go, Faye. Faye, come here. Come here, Faye. Come here. Faye. Ooh, where were you going? We got stuff to do, Faye. Okay, let's see. All right, see. you ready? Name a part of a woman's body that men prefer to be small. You said, she said, who is this guy? Survey set. Oh. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you enjoy dirty jokes? You went a nine. Survey said. Wow. I said, name something a woman might need help putting on. You said a girdle. Survey said. Mm. I asked you to name something you do late at night. You said read a book. Survey said. I said, name something that gets pulled down. You said, curtains, survey said. Wow. 69, that might get it. Let's go. Let's clear the board. Let's bring out Dana. Dana, how you doing? OK. All right, we got a little business we got to take care of. OK. You need 131 points. All right, I can do that. You got 69. Say it again. I can do that. All right, now, it can be done. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so I'm going to give you 25 seconds, OK? OK. All right, let's remind everyone of Faye's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. OK. Name a part of a woman's body that men prefer to be small. But. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you enjoy dirty jokes? Seven. Name something a woman might need help putting on. Bra. Name something you like to do late at night. Sleep. Name something that gets pulled down. Underwear. Wow. <laughs> Play good. <laughs> you played pretty good, Dana. Well, let's see how we did. I said name a part of a woman's body that men prefer to be small. You said? The butt, not a requirement of mine. <laughs> Let's see what the rest of America says. Survey says? Yes. Number one answer was waist and stomach. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you enjoy dirty jokes? You said seven. Not so much, huh? Survey said seven. Then I said, name something a woman might need help putting on. You said her bra. Hmm. Survey said, number one answer, a dress. Name something you like to do late at night. You said, sleep. Survey says, sleep was the number one answer. You are 61 points away. I said, name something that gets pulled down. You said, underwear. Survey said, <laughs> number one answer was pants. Pants was the number one answer. That's $5 a point for a total of $710. But they're coming right back here on the feud to face another family. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.